Hi team, welcome to this video. Here I'm gonna run you through the five checks that you should run before you start a new job in Zero Practice Manager. So before you add any time to a job, you wanna make sure that it has been set up correctly. The reason we want to do that is for our reporting. So uh, let's jump in and we'll check it out together. So here we are in the job that we're about to start working on. As you can see here, we've got a link back to Practice Ignition and these are all the tasks. So we've got four quarterly coaching tasks and we've got two tasks for that, annual accounts, preparation and review. Uh, and we've got no time uh, entered on this job because it's a brand new one. So what I want to do first of all is I want to make sure I do my five checks. So those five checks are the budget, the job category, the partner, the manager, and my estimated times represent the amount of work that I believe will be involved to complete the task. So to enter the job budget, I can see that this has not been entered. Ideally this is entered uh, once the job is created, but if it hasn't been entered, what we want to do is click into this link here. If you don't have a login into Practice Ignition to see this stuff, you want to have a talk to someone who does. So I can see here my total proposal value is $7,200. So I'm going to go edit job, I'm going to put 72 in here. My job category hasn't been populated and I know this one's a fixed price agreement, so I'm going to choose fixed price agreement for my category. If it was a billable fees, which means we're going to bill it uh, based on the timesheets or we're going to bill it out of Zero Practice Manager, we're going to choose whether it's an advisory or a compliance engagement. So this one here is fixed price agreement, I know because it's being billed out of Practice Ignition. So I've entered my budget, I've entered my category. My partner has been pre-populated, which is great, but it hasn't selected me as the job manager. So I'm going to select that and then hit save. So those are the first four checks, budget, category, partner and manager. The last thing I want to do is check that my estimated times are accurate. So all of my quarterly coaching looks good, it's an hour and a half meetings that I'm having, and then my annual accounts review, two hours about accurate, but I haven't quite allowed enough time here for my annual accounts preparation because we've got a, a budget here of 7,200, it's quite a big job, so I'm gonna click into annual accounts, and I'm gonna update this here to be 20 hours. Now this is something that might be done by your practice manager when the job has been scheduled to you, but you wanna have a talk to your team to figure out what your process is. Are your estimated times going to be updated when the, all the scheduling is done, or is this, uh, up to you, is this your job to do uh, when you uh, jump into the job to start the work? So it depends on what your workflow process is there, but those are the five things we want to check. Uh, the first thing is, is the budget entered? If it's not, we wanna look at what the proposal says in practice ignition. Then we want to enter our job category, check the partner and the manager have been entered, and finally we want to check our estimated times on all of our tasks. If we can get those five things entered, it's going to set us up for beautiful reporting in our practice, so we can very easily see whether we're going to go over budget on a certain task. It also allows us to filter our work in progress between fixed price agreements and our billable WIP. We can also filter it by our partners and our managers, and finally having all of those estimated times entered means that we have a very nice apportionment of that budget over all of those tasks again making our reporting a lot better so make sure you do those five checks before you start any job in zero practice manager hope it all makes sense and i'll see you in the next video